Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. Hi and welcome. In today's video I want to show you how to create crocheted flowers. Uh, the same crocheted flowers that I used for my crocheted flower brooch. Now this brooch was uh, custom made and <laughs> it's gonna be for me. I still need to put uh, a pin and it in at the back, in the back, but yeah, this is for me. I did get a few more requests uh, in different colors, and I also did get some questions how I made the flowers and if I'm gonna be able to show you guys how to create a brooch for yourself. And yeah, sharing is caring, that's why today I wanna to share with you how I adjusted the simple one row crochet flower pattern to make these tiny little flowers and how to stack them and yeah well don't forget this is micro crocheting so this was done with a 0.6 millimeter crochet hook and today for tutorial purposes I'm gonna be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and some cotton yarn uh, so yeah I'm gonna show you how to make flowers and then it's gonna be up to you to choose the size and the flowers that you want to do for your jewelry piece. Now about the pattern, this is variations, there are variations for my one row simple crocheted flower pattern uh, that you can already find on my webpage but here up on the top left corner I'm gonna be putting up diagrams for each of the three flowers that are used here for this tutorial purposes and also there's gonna be down in the description below a link to my webpage where you can find all three diagrams at the same place and also a written pattern for all three flowers as well as down in the description below you will have a written pattern for each of the three flowers. But yeah, I think we can just begin. Now, as I already mentioned, this was done in micro crocheting, so it was a 0.6 millimeter crochet hook, and it was used some Gutterman thread because I had it with me and I really liked the three shades of yellow that I was able to stack on top. Now, the next custom made um, brooch that I'm working on, it's gonna be done with white, like light pink and that dark-ish, it's not even pink, I don't know what to call this flower, but yeah. Uh, for tutorial purposes I'm gonna be using <laughs> these three bright pink colors and yeah, I think we can just begin. So all three flowers are gonna be made uh, almost the same. Uh, I'm gonna always start with a magic ring. A magic ring is just yarn twice around my thumb. I go in with my crochet hook and grab the yarn and do a chain one. Now this stitch already counts as the slip stitch. Um, depending on the number of the petals you want, you have to repeat um, the next sequence that many times but I want five petals so that's why I'm gonna repeat it five times. Now as you can see up in the corner uh, the pattern calls for chain of three so that's a one two three and three triple crochet stitches in the magic ring. So that's one, two, and if you want to know what a triple crochet stitch is, it means yarn goes twice around my crochet hook and then you do a one, two and a three. That's how I remember what a triple crochet stitch is. Now the pattern calls for a chain of three and a slip stitch into the magic ring. And that's it. That is the first petal done. Now I need to do four more chain of three, three triple crochet stitches in the magic ring. So that's a one, two and three and chain of three and 
back into the magic ring. Now here you already have the first option what you can do. What you can do is instead of three triple crochet stitches you can only do two. That means that the petals are gonna be a bit narrower but uh, I think it still works. Especially when I created this brooch. Um, I didn't use the five petals, I used four petals for the base and then I was just adding or uh, removing chains or triple crochet stitches or double crochet stitches just to have them all in different sizes and because I really wanted to go from small up down to uh, larger flowers. So yeah, uh, I have three petals down and I need two more. A chain of three. So one, two, three. Now I need three triple crochet stitches. So that's one, two, and three. Chain of three. A slip stitch into the magic ring. And now I'm at the last petal, so that means chain of three. Three triple crochet stitches, so that's one, two, and three, and a chain of three, and a slip stitch into the magic ring. And I always do a chain one when I finish because it's the last stitch. Now I can cut the yarn and close up the magic ring. And this is the larger crocheted flower done. Now the next one is gonna be just a tiny bit smaller. So the this one was using triple crochet stitches. The next one is gonna be using uh, double crochet stitches. And I did want to show you the difference between making uh, the same pattern, but here on this one that I did now, I did three triple crochet stitches and on this one that you see here on top, I did two triple crochet stitches and you can see it is just a tiny bit smaller. So when you're going to be using uh, flowers like this, you can always then stack them so that the smaller flowers go up onto the top of the stem. Now the next flower is gonna be a bit smaller as I said. I'm gonna again start with the magic ring, so yarn twice around my thumb and I make a chain one. Now this one counts as the first slip stitch. Now I need to do two chains and I need to do two double crochet stitches. So that's a one, two and another chain of two and a slip stitch. Now depending on how many petals you have or how many petals you want you will repeat the same sequence. So chain of two, two double crochet stitches now again, here you have the option making chain of two, then do one double crochet stitch and another chain of two. Uh, so you just make smaller petals. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this with two double crochet stitches, but yeah, as I already mentioned in the beginning, you have options. You always have options how you can adjust the pattern. So here I will do for my uh, next brooch, I will do some uh, second tier flowers with two double crochet stitches and then I will probably make some with perhaps even just four petals or three petals and also instead of using two double crochet stitches in the middle I could always use just one double crochet stitch in the middle. So yeah, um, uh, when I'm doing, when I'm creating like jewelry pieces like that, I always try to play with the patterns and just uh, 
make different things and as you can see here the different sizes look amazing together okay so i'm here now with the last fifth petal a slip stitch and a chain one just to finish it up and that's it that's now the second flower done and now all there needs to be done is the middle part now the middle part is um it's gonna be it's gonna perhaps sound a bit strange how to do it but yeah it works so again up here top left corner is gonna be the pattern and i'm gonna start with a magic ring so again yarn twice around my thumb i go in with my crochet hook pull it through and do a chain one now this already counts as a slip stitch now the pattern calls for a slip stitch and a half double crochet so that's a half double crochet stitch and my yarn just split and it's fine and then it calls for a slip stitch and a half double crochet stitch and a slip stitch and a half double crochet stitch and a slip stitch and a half double crochet stitch now you can do this five times like I'm gonna be doing or you can do it four times or you can do it three times it's up to you so I've done it one two three four slip stitch now it's half double crochet stitch slip stitch and a chain of one and that's it that is the smallest of the flowers done I'm gonna close up the magic ring and that's it now all you have to do is stack them now I like to use for example uh, here I can use a much smaller crochet hook because it's uh, big enough but if with the micro crocheting I was using the a needle and then pulling it through so yeah now all I have to do is stack the flowers and what I also like to do is I like to tie them so I grab one of each color and I make a knot And I'm gonna do the same when adjusting the third flower so these are two done now for the third flower again I go in with my hook and just bring all the loose ends on the other side of the flower now you can adjust it a bit and again I'm gonna take just one of the strands and I'm gonna be making a knot at the end well not at the end at the other side and that's it and that's my flower done now again this was done with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook it's a bit bigger and if you use some Gutterman thread and some 0.6 millimeter crochet hook you can make it as small as this but yeah in this video tutorial I wanted to show you how you can take a basic simple one row crochet flower pattern and then just make different flowers different sizes of flowers and how you can then stack them and make a really amazing jewelry piece i hope you enjoyed the video if you did let me know with a thumbs up if you want to know 
something more or you want me to crochet something or show you how things are done uh, don't hesitate leave a comment below and I will try to make a video tutorial on how to do other things and until the next time I'm gonna say happy crafting <laughs>